way these guys stop him, man. They get familiar. Hello and hi everyone. We are from Group 5, Neon. So today we carry out an experiment, cross flow heat exchanger. So this is the main part of the cross flow uh, heat exchanger. So this is heater power. And this is the temperature controller. And this is the heater control. So basically, we need to adjust this in order to control the temperature. So, this is the main switch of this uh, cross flow heat exchanger. And this is the heater switch. And also, this is the centrifugal fan switch. The green button is for uh, turning on and the red button to switch off. Uh, so next is the uh, air blower. The main part of the air blower is this one, I resetting. We have number 1 until 6. So later, we need to control this in order to carry out our experiment. For this experiment, we will be, we'll be using 3 types of tube, which are single tube, bundle tube, and film bundle tube. And for each of the tube, uh, there are three, uh, 3 trials for each tube, with different air resetting of 2, 4, and 6. And for bundle tube and film bundle tube, there are three trials for each of the rows and for bundle tube is the first, third and the sixth rows and the fifth bundle is the first and the fourth rows. Uh, so for single tube and bundle tube, uh, this wire will be used and connected to the heat exchanger unit and for fin bundle, this wire will be, uh, will be used to put into the fin bundle and connected to the heat exchanger unit. So there are two different wires with different types of tubes. That's all. Okay, for my part, I will be explaining about how to operate this heat exchanger unit, which is cross-flow heat exchanger unit. So the first thing, you have to plug in this wire into the fin bundle. For this example, I'm doing the fin bundle tube. And first, we have to on the main switch and then we have to on the centrifugal fan and then the heat controller switch and then we have to control the heat controller so that the temperature will reach 40 degrees Celsius which was the setting temperature. And for this experiment, we are using three IRI settings which will be two, four and six. For this experiment, the application of cell tech is used to examine the velocity, inlet temperature and also the surface temperature for the whole system. So from here, the computer showing that the readings for everything is clearly recorded. And for this experiment, the interval will be shown as 60, so means that every 60 seconds, the, the results will be auto-recorded. So from here, we can clearly see the air velocity is increasing or decreasing, even the slight change, and also the inlet temperature, surface temperature, and these other variables that we need to examine for this experiment. So, thank you for watching. 